Good morning guys and welcome back to another video, another what I eat in a day on I do the Weight Watchers. Let me turn this TV down. I do the Weight Watchers. Green plan is what I follow. That is what I lost the majority of my weight on and when I hit lifetime before I lost the majority of my weight on the green program and I it works for me. I prefer the green over the blue. I've never tried anything like the purple program. I know they've had like a Simply Feeling program in the past that's been, I think it's very similar. Um, I've never tried that, but I'm very interested in that if I decide to switch to a different one other than green. So if you guys follow the purple, you'll have to let me know how you like it because I know a lot of the foods I eat are actually free like zero point foods on the purple so you'll have to let me know if you do the purple how you're liking it and how it's working for you i think one thing that would worry me is i would take advantage of all the free foods and like kind of go overboard is what i would worry about and then i would think was it going to work if I mean too many or too much of those foods and so I think that might be my worry for the purple but the green plan I've been enjoying it like I said it worked for me before I did great on it I hit lifetime I hit lifetime on the freestyle program but the majority of my weight was on the program before freestyle which is basically the green program so I'm headed out I, I've got my coffee in my hand this is the um I showed you guys the Italian sweet cream sugar-free I prefer this over the caramel macchiato something about the taste of the caramel macchiato it's got like a a weird aftertaste and this kind of does but it is better and it's low in points this stuff is you can have up to five tablespoons for two points and I don't need any extra sweetness with that I've got some liquid Splenda um, that I could add a little bit of. I got a fussy baby. I could add a little bit of liquid Splenda if I needed it, but I don't need any more sweetness to it. So that is an option um, if I need it to be a little bit sweeter because I do like a sweeter coffee, but that is perfect. So I've got two points in. I get 36 points. I am a nursing mom, so I'm not exclusively breastfeeding, so I do get 36 points a day. And for breakfast, I'm headed out to run a couple errands. So I'm actually going to get breakfast on the go this morning. So we're going to head and do that. All right, I'm grabbing me some McDonald's. Just a biscuit real quick. Oh, McMuffin. What is it called? Egg McMuffin. Well, to McDonald's, I'll take your order. Hey, can I just have one egg McMuffin with no butter on it, please? Will this be all? Yes, ma'am. I have an egg McMuffin, no butter? Yes. So it's 320. Pull it to the first window. Thank you. I know I've talked about this before. This is such a good, like, easy, on-the-go, low-point breakfast. I believe it's five points, but I'm going to check that to make sure. For some reason, I don't know why I'm thinking I could be wrong, but I think it's five points. Also, if you're wondering why I'm drinking out of a Dunkin' cup, I've actually started reusing my cups. Well, a couple times. I'll use, reuse, wash it and reuse it a couple times, so that's why I'm drinking out of that. Okay, so I'm so glad that I looked on the app for this, um... Egg McMuffin because it is now nine. Let's see if it'll show up. Nine points. And I forgot that with the green plan, eggs are not zero points anymore. So it used to be seven points made regular um, with the butter. Like they always put butter on it. So really, without the butter, it was five points. So now it's nine points. So without the butter, it would be seven. Count a couple points for the butter. But, um, also, I don't like the Canadian bacon that's on it, and so I'm actually going to take that off, and so it would be nine points. I'm going to subtract the butter, because I got it with no butter, so it would be seven, and I'm going to take a point off for the Canadian bacon as well. This is just what I'm going to do. I don't know if this is exactly how I should track it, but I'm going to count it as six points. So, I don't like this part, but do you want this, Rian? Okay. I don't like that part of it, um, so it's really I'm eating egg what cheese, uh, egg and cheese McMuffin, basically. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna manually what enter is. it as six points. Gonna go ahead and get my water started for the day. Lots and lots of water. I'm gonna try to get this blowed off from the weekend, from my No Track Saturday. My favorite. All right, I've got my crock pot. I am going to put on some chicken real quick to make to shred for a recipe that we're gonna have tonight. I've never made this recipe, but I'm excited for it. But for now, I'm gonna get some chicken in my crock pot. Let me look up the recipe because I can't remember how much I need. But I love 
cooking chicken and shredding, shredding, shredding it in the crock pot. Um, it's super easy to do. You throw some chicken in here on low for six hours or so, depending on what kind of chicken you use. I've got um, chicken tenderloins that I'm going to use. And I have one of the chicken breasts, so I'm going to sew it in there because I have one in my frozen bag. So, all right, I need a pound of it. So I'm just going to throw some in here and... Um, just go ahead and let it cook and whatever I have left over. If I have any left over, I can always use it for another day. So I've got that one chicken breast that I need to go ahead and use up. And I'm just going to throw a few of these in there. And I am going to set it to low. I'm going to put some chicken broth in there. I, always, I also do water if I don't have any chicken broth on hand. Just going to... Put it in there just enough to not necessarily cover the end, but just to have a little bit to cook yet. I'm not even gonna, you know what? I'll probably waste this anyway, so I'm gonna just put it in there. And then just salt and pepper it, and you will be good to go. Cook it on low for this is like a no brainer, but this is how I like to cook my chicken that I need for recipes that calls for shredded chicken. So I'm gonna cook this. All, well not all day, for probably about six hours until it's time to shred and that'll be a part of my recipe for tonight for supper. So these are the Cauliflower Chicken Tenders. I've heard so many good things about them. I've only heard positive about them. So they were not cheap. They're like seven, almost eight dollars at Walmart. I did get them at Walmart and not many comes in a bag. But I really wanted to give them a try because they're very low in points. I have three pieces and like it's like one point per piece. And they're basically like cauliflower crusted chicken tenders cauliflower i think it's got something else that it's crusted with i'm about to give it a try at first like smelling it i don't like the way they smell but i hope they taste better than they smell so i'm about to i got some boathouse farms ranch with a little bit of um uh, hot sauce so probably put a little too much hot sauce in there i'm gonna go eat these and then I can get my final thought on them. Okay, I just got finished with my cauliflower chicken tenders. And they were good. They're one of my favorite, but I will definitely be eating them again because they're so low in points. Um, if you guys have another suggestion that y'all like that are pretty low in points too, let me know. The price, they're just so expensive, I feel like, for the amount you get in the bag. And they're not my favorite, but they are pretty good. So I will definitely be eating them again. And I'll be finished up this, finishing up this bag. And I may repurchase, depending on how I continue to like them. So I do like them. Um, so I thought I ate some pretzels. I ate three points. Let me go ahead and put it in the app and I'll show you. All right, so this is what everything looks like. And that is just kind of a breakdown on what I've eaten today. And the totals for lunch. Um, I had two points worth of ranch dressing and some pretzel sticks, three points worth of those, and the chicken was three points. And so that was my lunch, and this is how many points I have left for the day. I'll probably have a snack in just a bit, but it was a very filling lunch. So here lately, especially when, since I've been trying to get back on track, I have not had, um, not been really doing, I was doing a couple cups of coffee a day like an afternoon pick me up but I've not been doing that because I haven't been able to find a low point coffee creamer that I like but since I found this one I actually have been enjoying this I'm making another two point cup of coffee to get me through the rest of the day the kids are napping 
is a rainy day and I really would love to take a nap today, but I have work to get done that I'm trying to finish up and making me one more cup of coffee for the day as a little snack and a little pick me up. Also, I'm getting a little hungry and I know y'all probably see this shirt all the time, but it is like the most comfortable shirt ever and it's still fall time technically. I'm gonna wear it out until it's not fall time anymore. But I'm gonna have some turkey pepperoni. This is one of my favorite low point snacks. Um, super low in points, a point for like, I think I can have 14 of them. I'm just gonna count them out. And then to go with it, I'm gonna have some string cheese. I might, I'm trying to think, I might have one little something else. Maybe a little more pretzels, because I love pretzels lately. All right, I just wanted something crunchy to go with it, and I didn't want my snack to be more than four points. So, I am going to measure out 22 grams of these. You hear Rand singing. I'm going to measure out just a couple of points worth of these, and this is just going to be my little snack until supper time. I should be good until supper time, so... There's my little snack. About forgot to show the finished product so the only thing I did differently I'm gonna leave everything below um, all the step-by-step -step instructions okay hold on just a second but the recipe would be down below the only thing I changed is I did not have fat-free milk so I'm gonna add an extra point because of that so I'm gonna say eight points for the casserole a point for the ranch because I just used a little bit of fat-free cheese in these um, zucchini and zero for the green beans, so just a nine point supper. All right, this is our leftovers. One for Ethan for work. And we've got two servings for my lunch maybe one day or something, I'm not sure. I recommend this. I actually really, really, really enjoyed this meal. So I give it a big thumbs up. It was super good. Yeah, you should try that this right here mm -hmm. because it is so good and the green beans are better the green beans <laughs> she just got out of the bathtub <laughs> i love green beans all right last little snack of the day i'm gonna eat one of these i have five points left and i'll show you guys what my cracker looks like as well what my log, what, what is really good coffee, you know what I'm talking about. Been trying to be better at tracking, and so I'll show you guys what that looks like as well. 
two teaspoons of this creamy peanut butter for two points. Two points worth of peanut butter. The rice cake is two points. And I'm going to top it because I don't have any bananas. I'm going to top it with more chocolate. So, alright. What a good little dessert. Alright, so this is what my tracker looks. I am at zero points left out of 36 that I've used. And that's just how it... I'm just trying to get better at tracking. I am horrible at adding. I'm not horrible at tracking because I track in my head, but I'm horrible at tracking on my phone. But I wanted to show you guys just kind of how my day looked and how my point breakdown was. So, this is the last thing I'm going to eat. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will show myself. I've already took my makeup off and everything for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And um, that shows me that you guys enjoy these videos. And so, give it a thumbs up. Share my channel. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.